Haley Williams' vocal range goes from here all the way to here. Not only is this distance insane, but so is everything inside it. And I kind of want to use it to walk you through what exactly makes her voice so special. So the distance itself is about four octaves. Now, what's an octave? In the context of a scale, an octave is a collection of eight notes in a key with the eighth note being a repetition of the first. So if we were in the key of C, for example, the notes in that octave would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C once more. On average, a female vocalist can traverse two to three octaves, but Haley's range spans a smidge over four. Now, I think the best way to understand this range is to break it up how she's singing in each section. So when you want to hit the lowest notes in your range, it has to come from your chest, and singers will just call that chest voice. And for Haley, she's relying on her chest voice for most of that first octave of her range. The lowest note she's been recorded hitting is a B flat two, which sounds like this. <laughs> Now that's not really a functional note for her and you probably won't hear that live. I think the lowest note you'll actually hear from her is something like an E flat three, which you can hear her hit on her feature on American Football's Uncomfortably Numb. Now I'm oversimplifying here, but generally the mark of a good singer is not only being able to transition between your chest voice and your head voice, but also being able to use both for what we'll call a mixed voice. Some vocal coaches are very picky about where mixed voice starts and ends, or if it even exists, but for this video we're just gonna say it exists and Haley has a good one. Mixed voice for Haley kicks in around A4 and spans up an octave to A5, and this is the classic Haley you know. This is where she does all her belting, and this is where she shines. The technical term for this area of your range is called your tessitura, or the area of your range you're most comfortable. Now I want to take a pit stop in the tessitura because I feel like there's a lot of underrated magic that happens here. For one, she's fantastic at making you feel what she's feeling. Her emotions translate to her voice super powerfully through techniques like vocal breaks on Still Into You. I'm still into you. I'm still into you. I'm still into you. She has insane breath control and stamina which allow her to do things like sea walk during a live performance of Ain't It Fun. <laughs> I have many questions. All jokes aside, if you've seen Haley live, you know that she's super mobile, but that doesn't inhibit her ability to hit the notes that she needs to. She treats her voice like an instrument and truly makes the effort to not only play it, but gain mastery over it. Generally speaking, there are four main categories of voices that are determined by where your range falls. In German, you would call this a Fach, with soprano sitting on top, followed by alto, tenor, and bass. Given her tessitura, breath control, stamina, and emotion, it's no wonder that Haley's classified as a light lyric soprano, which is sometimes referred to as the ideal female operatic voice. Okay, we're inching closer to the high note stuff that you wanna hear, let's talk about her falsetto. What is a falsetto, first of all? Remember when we were talking about using your chest for low notes? Well, when you're at the upper end of your range, you have to start using more of your head. Falsetto is essentially a breathy version of head voice. It's a specific approach to hitting higher notes. The funniest way to hear this is listening to different live versions of Still Into You, where she pushes her falsetto up one half step each new performance. <laughs> But the way that might make it more impressive is listening to the bridge of Decode. Do you see what we've done? We've gone and made such fools of ourselves. Okay, and now for the grand finale, what you've all been waiting for. Keep in mind, just like the very bottom of Haley's range, this part isn't functional either. You might hear it as a meme, you might hear it as a flex, you might hear it as an exclamation, but that's all to say that it's rare and you're not gonna hear it a lot. What you're about to hear is a whistle tone, and it's no joke because if you have bad technique, you will hurt yourself. There is not much margin for error here because the hole your vocal cords are making, probably smaller than that. Okay, here is her doing it in the car. And then here's her doing it at an actual show to hit the highest note she's ever recorded, a C7. Insane, she's one of the best vocalists out there right now. Thanks for stopping by, be sure to drop a like, but more importantly, check out this video on why ticket prices are insane, including Paramore's.